I'm John Michael Albert, the 8th Portsmouth, New Hampshire Poet Laureate. And this is Ambushed by Poetry, The Brick Project, a project to surprise people with poetry in public spaces throughout downtown Portsmouth. I'm standing outside of River Run Books and will be reading you a poem by Sir Walter Raleigh called The Nymph's Reply to the Shepherd. It is in fact his response to a scandalous poem by one of his contemporaries, Christopher Marlowe, who wrote The Passionate Shepherd to His Love. We'll go with the response this time. If all the world were young, and truth in every shepherd's tongue, these pretty pleasures might me move to live with thee and be thy love. But time drives flocks from field to fold, when rivers rage and rocks go cold, and Philomel becomes dumb, the rest complains of cares to come. The flowers do fade, and wanton fields to wayward winter reckoning yields. A honey tongue, a heart of gall, is fancy's spring, but sorrow's fall. Thy gowns, thy shoes, thy beds of roses, thy cap, thy kirtle, and thy posies soon break, soon wither, soon forgotten, in folly ripe, in reason rotten. Thy belt of straw and ivy buds, thy coral clasps and amber studs, all these in me no means can move to come to thee and be thy love. But could youth last, and love still breed, had joys no date, nor age no need, then these delights might me move to live with thee and be thy love. Thank you very much for listening. This project is sponsored by the Portsmouth Poet Laureate Program. You can find more information about Ambush by Poetry, the Brick Project, on their webpage at pplp.org. Many thanks to my friend, cameraman, and editor, Mike Nelson. Poetry is everywhere. How we do, Walt? Splendid. Splendid. Onward and upward. <laughs> <laughs>